This guide will cover rifle controls, basic movement and formation concepts, and explore a few specialties for certain weapons. After spawning, you can hit the F1 key to bring up a keybinds list. Some of these controls will be covered in this video, but you should still take a look around. When you enter a game, pick a team and a regiment. Certain rifles are exclusive to certain regiments, and you can see this while on the regiment screen. You can click these arrows to view which rifles the regiment has, and one of those rifles will be randomly assigned to you when you spawn. When you spawn, this is what you look like. You can load your rifle by hitting R. You spawn with nothing loaded, so you'll have to do this every time you start. Now if you're ever in a pinch while reloading, you can hit R again to cancel the reload. Holding ALT will allow you to free look, and hitting control will allow you to kneel. Pressing T will allow you to see your rifle position. When you spawn, you'll always be at shoulder arms. Now, there are three main rifle stances. Shoulder arms, at the ready, and right shoulder shift. Right click to be at the ready. Your rifle will be drawn forward and the safety will be toggled. Being at the ready is the quickest way to aim. Aiming while being at the shoulder arms will take longer since you have to take the time to grab the rifle from your side and to toggle the safety. Right clicking again will send you back to shoulder arms. Pressing X will send you to right shoulder shift. Your rifle will be raised and you'll use less stamina while walking compared to shoulder arms. Stamina is important. It determines how much rifle sway will occur while aiming down your sights. For example, if you take aim after a long sprint, your rifle will be all over the place. But if you right shoulder shift while moving, then take aim, you'll be much steadier. When it comes to movement, there are three marching speeds, quick time, double quick, and charge. The first is quick time, the slowest speed. You can be at the ready and even aim down your sights while moving in the quick time. You can view your movement speed by holding T. Pressing C will toggle between quick time and double quick. Double quick allows you to march faster and still retain some stamina. However, while moving in the double quick, you cannot aim down your sights or be at the ready. The final speed is charge. You can charge by holding shift. While charging, your stance is forced to be at the ready and charging drains your stamina quickly. I'm dead. Yeah. Slide to the north if you're alive. Hit him on the side if you can. You'll eventually encounter suppression in battle. With enough suppression, your screen will turn black and white and it'll look like you're watching Shark Boy and Lava Girl in 3D. But most of all, it increases rifle sway, increases stamina use, and decreases accuracy. To get rid of suppression quickly, this brings us to formation. I want to play It's a Final Countdown. My load isn't perfect. For Florida. Okay. What what the fuck is going on back there? Formation is all about how many people are around you. You can view your formation status by holding T. In War of Rights, there are three formations: out of line, skirmishing, and in formation. If you wander around the battlefield by yourself, you'll be out of line. Being out of line causes you to be more susceptible to the effects of suppression. If you die out of line, it causes more damage to your team, and players will refer to you as a Rambo. The next formation is Skirmish Formation. You'll be suppressed less and retain more stamina. To be in Skirmish Formation, you have to have two to four team members around you. Dying in Skirmish is not ideal, but it's much better than dying out of line. Get the flag, get the fl it doesn't matter who, someone pick it up. The final formation is in formation. To be in formation, you must have at least five team members around you, and you must remain standing. If you kneel, you'll be put into skirmishing formation. Kneeling does provide you with a small accuracy boost and makes you a smaller target, but it costs more points for your team when dying in skirmishing rather than in formation. If you're fighting in skirmishing and 
I restart my computer completely? If you're fighting and skirmishing and don't actually have enough people around you to be in formation, that's when it's a good idea to kneel. Note that when kneeling, it'll take you longer to reload than when standing up. Dude, can you imagine we got hit by an artillery right now? Nah, no, we're good. That'd we're be good. funny! No. It doesn't matter. If you're using the Springfield 1842, you have an ammo type called Buck and Ball. However, you have to switch to that ammo type every time you spawn. At the time of this update, hitting 5 will switch to Buck and Ball. If you already have a different ammo type loaded, simply double tap R and you'll load Buck and Ball in place of the old ammo. Buck and Ball ammo acts like a shotgun and fires multiple projectiles, increasing the chances of hitting your target. Charge the board, let's move! Hold it, hold it! Damn, Federal! Oh my ow, I'm dead. Someone killed me. The bayonet is a powerful weapon when up close. Hit B to equip your bayonet, then hit V to charge your bayonet. If your bayonet isn't charged, you can't stab anyone. With your bayonet attached, it takes two hits to take down an enemy. Now if you try to charge your bayonet without it being equipped, you'll invert your rifle, and this is used for bonky, which takes three hits. So, now you know the basics of the game, and you're ready to hop into a public server. Or are you? That's fair, that's fair. Private Pile, why is your footlocker unlocked? Ah, uh, Private Pile. I'm almost finished, gentlemen, I'm almost finished, okay. Sir, you are blocking. You are blocking my inspection of the men. Flag bearer, please move. Thank hey, you. this flag is blocking my inspection like of the last men. In line. This is a certified 40-second moment. <laughs>